So you're wondering how to use SEMrush for keyword research? In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do keyword research using this amazing tool. Coming right up. Hey guys, welcome to another video of The Hustle Show. Super thrilled to have you here. And before I even begin talking about keyword research and SEO and PPC and all of this stuff that excites me so much, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now. We make a lot of videos for motivation, entrepreneurial interviews, uh, tutorials and reviews. So if you're not part of this family of this Hustle Show family, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you join the family, okay? So what brings me to this video today is how do you use SEMrush as a tool for keyword research? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first tell you what SEMrush does and we're gonna jump into my computer right now. I'm gonna show you step by step how to do keyword research using this amazing tool, okay? SEMrush is one of the most powerful uh, tools that you can find for SEO, PPC, uh, you know, content marketing, uh, keyword tracking, so many tools all built into one. And this is an online platform, it's an online website, you log in, you do la la la. So for the same kind of like the flat for price, which is pretty cool, rather than paying each additional tool separate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump in the computer right now, I'm gonna show you how I do keyword research and how I find opportunities for either YouTube or for SEO ranking or even for PPC campaigns as well. So let's jump right in and I'll show you how to find these keywords. All right guys, so this is my SEM Rush account and what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do keyword research. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, there's a couple of ways. This search bar right here is multi-purpose, so you can use it for whatever you want, including keyword research or domain status or, or any type of research really. But you can always go to the left side, go to keyword analytics, and they just re recently changed the tool and then rename it to keyword magic tool. So I'm gonna go there. Usually you could just do it on overview, but if you do, it's gonna give you an error and it's gonna ask you to go to keyword magic tool anyway. So here, what we're gonna do is always start with a broad term. So you wanna start from the top and then start niching down as you continue to find um, other ideas or just something comes up, okay? So I'm gonna start with law firm and I'm gonna hit search or enter, whatever you like better. So here we're gonna get a lot of ideas for keywords for SEO or PPC. So the first thing that you're gonna see is of course the keyword, and then you're gonna see the volume, which is awesome because this is the search volume reported by search engines. You also see the trend, meaning um, usually it starts at January and it then ends on December. So you can see that during the summer there's a huge spike for this term and then closes out on the, on the on winter, kind of strong, probably November or October. Um, next is going to be KD is keyword difficulty. This is based from zero to 100. 100 being extremely hard to rank for, extremely difficult. Zero being super, super easy. Tends to be the case where um, a 52, it's, it's a pretty good number. 50s and 60s are very doable. 70s, it's complicated, but you can still rank for. Anything over 80 is gonna be hard. 90 is gonna be very, very hard to rank for. So for example, the 47 here is gonna be an easy keyword, go for it. But the problem is that it has near me, so it's gonna be kind of uh, tough there too, um, because this is gonna be customized depending on the city where you're located. So here you can also see that over here, it can rank or it can categorize your keyword. Like if I just wanna see best keywords, so anything that has law firm and that it has best. So best law firms, best law firm websites in New York City, US news best law firms. So there's gonna be a lot of keyword ideas here. Trust me, there's gonna be a lot of those. If you're looking for something like keyword research local, you can always do law firm and then your city or your state, add it in there and see what it comes up with. So Dallas law firms, a thousand searches a month we see the trend going up and down keyword difficulty 65 so it's not that bad um, I forgot to keep going on this table actually cost per click is CPC so $14 a click competition is competition on cost per click and then you have other and use you know I don't 
really never use these other two columns. So you also have law firms in Dallas, top law firms in Dallas, and the list goes on and on. The, in this case, I am sorting by volume. So I'm seeing the highest search volume first and they could going down. You can rank or sort by any type that you want. I'm gonna sort by keyword difficulty. So there we go. No, don't go after this keyword because it's, it's extremely hard to rank for. But let me rank it by easy keywords. And of course, if there is not enough, if there, if it's an NA, is because there is not enough data. Um, that tends to be the case where there is 10 or less searches a month. Usually, it's a pretty easy keyword to go after. So I do encourage you to, even if it's a zero, still go for it. Still rank for it. It's going to be a pretty easy keyword. Um, I'm gonna have to go to maybe page two, I guess, because all these are NA. I'm gonna keep going until I find something. So bear with me here for a second. Wow, there is a lot. I'm just gonna skip to page five. Wow, still nothing. So what about seven? So you can see that there's hundreds and hundreds of keywords here and nowhere to be find a number. There's so many NAs. So I'm almost done the last page. There we go. <laughs> almost last page. Okay. So we start at 49, the first one that has data. And the Brown Law Firm Dallas, Confidential Law Firm Dallas. This is a pretty good one. Immigration Law Firm this is always a good one. Um, and it also, it depends a lot on your client or even your own business, whatever you're doing. Maybe 10 searches a month doesn't sound a lot, but when one client is gonna give you several thousand dollars per sale, tr trust me, 10 people a month is actually a pretty good number, so I would definitely go after this. Um, there's a lot of ideas here, and I'm gonna go back to just search another thing, uh, maybe dentist, dentist office, or just dentist and see what it shows up to. So, you kind of get the idea. Whatever you search here for, you're going to find hundreds and hundreds of ideas. And I'm going to sort it by volume because keyword difficulty was not a very good sorting. So here, you're going to have a lot of ideas. If you're lo if you're doing local SEO for a, for a city, I do encourage you to add the city when you're looking for the keyword. If you're doing more like um, national or worldwide ranking, then you could just leave it like that. Um, you will still see the, the main cities in the country, in the U.S., but if you're doing a smaller city that is not in the list, it's probably going to be better if you type it in. Um, for example, here, Dentist San Antonio, 5,400 5, searches a month. Keyword difficulty is not that hard. Dentist New York City, keyword difficulty is not hard at all, 4,400. I love doing keyword research. I can go crazy hours and hours because I have so many ideas of what I can do with them. But for the same reason, I, uh, it's hard for me to stay focused. So I'm just gonna stop here. I think that's enough. I get my point across and you kind of learn how to use SEMrush for keyword research. So I'm gonna drop a link in the description box right now. Go click on it, get a, a free seven day trial for SEMrush. You will love this tool. I've been using it for over five years now and I'm just crazy in love. This is my everyday Bible for SEO, okay? So make sure you hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up for this video, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in to the Hustle Show audio experience. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And even if you didn't, make sure you subscribe to the podcast right now. It's still free. Visit thehustleshow.co for all the show notes and to watch the video experience of this episode. We'll see you soon.